What is up, Galaxy? It is time for Bantha Soup. I am your host, Gil Garcia. Guys, I've got the bug again. I'm walking around the Bantha tank just thinking about what my next project is going to be. I'm trying to escape the world for a little bit, work all the responsibilities, and just have fun in the Star Wars sandbox. I got a couple projects that I've started up on. I got to really narrow it down, but uh, there's a few that are sticking out in the top of my head that I really want to get to. My awesome neighbor recently hooked me up with these amazing styrofoam sheets. So many possibilities to do with this. Oh my gosh, guys, my mind is exploding with all the Boba Fett action happening in The Mandalorian. It is literally dreams come true for me. Star Wars action adventures that I played as a kid happening right in front of my eyes. There's so many Boba Fett centric dioramas that I want to work on. But I'm going to sit on it for a little bit because I got a couple different ideas in mind. This is a sequel trilogy bookcase. To be honest, I'm just not into it right now. I'm still trying to work it out in my head. Found a really cool styrofoam piece with my microwave purchase. Thought it would look pretty cool in this Polis Massa display. So put some paint on that. That'd be pretty sweet. Same idea going on with this Jedi Temple display I'm working on. I recently painted the floor and that archway I think would look pretty cool over the uh, Jedi. This is a project I've been wanting to work on for a long time. This is my coffee table with the legendary Falcon underneath. What I really love about this table is you can see through over the top of it. And the most important thing on this Falcon is the details. So I was really thinking about doing a diorama inside the Falcon. But you know what? To be completely honest, where my heart and mind is, is back on the planet Hoth. More specifically, the Echo Base Medical Center. This is an idea I have really been kicking around for a long time. And with the cold weather outside, the time is right to get in there, bust the foam board out, and make something really cool. This was one of my favorite toys growing up. It's time to give it the diorama it deserves. So I went to DioramaWorkshop.com and came across this amazing PDF download of the Echo Base Medical Center. This is an incredible detailed instruction download of a step-by-step how-to to make an Echo Base Medical Center. This download also comes with 12 letter size decal sheets. Amazing! This guy is always at Star Wars Celebration making amazing dioramas with fans. This download is a step-by-step how-to with full color illustrations, teaches you what size uh, foam board you need to cut out, all the different dimensions, the pieces you'll need, how to put them together, all the assemblies there. Really great up-close pictures. Um, he's got detailed instructions under each image, which is incredible. Each picture is actually numbered just in case you get lost and you know you don't know where you're at. And what is the most incredible thing about this is he's done all the graphic work and you basically just print off these decal sheets, cut them out, put them on a piece of foam board, glue them together, and you have the potential to make a pretty incredible diorama. All in one nice little kit i'm excited to bust this out look at these floor grates that's amazing so when i'm cutting decals i love to use my ruler and a good old exacto knife just line up my ruler where i need it slice my exacto knife and boom paper cuts super easy Okay, so this is just a test for me. Um, I've got an old piece of foam board. I'm just gonna use a regular old glue stick here. Get a good amount of glue on the entire surface of where the decal is gonna be placed. I don't want my edges popping up or anything like that. So once I've got a good amount, just get it on there. Make sure you rub out any creases. Make sure each section has some glue on it and I like to use my ruler flatten it out just squeegee it down a little bit and boom yeah that's on there pretty good now that the decals in place I line up my ruler on the foam board give it a couple slices and it cuts right through if you've got a sharp blade it, it literally just slices right off just like that if you need to cut off any trim you can also do that as well there we go pretty simple just a few more pieces to cut out for this section and uh, 
we'll glue them together see if we can make us a little room all right tell me you're not getting excited now look how great this looks already there's uh decals of doors and just some wall fixtures but you uh, can already get the idea of what's gonna happen and i'm pretty excited it's gonna be awesome so now i'm working on luke's medical bed this is where uh He's laying down when Leia gives him the old smoochy smooch. So I'm gonna cut out this rectangle section here and that's where the medical bed is gonna go and the smaller square is actually a medical closet. So I just line up my ruler right over the uh, white sections, cut them out, boom, pop out just like that. Pretty satisfying to cut those out. We're gonna do this section where the bed is gonna go into. All right, just to give you an idea, here's one of the back walls. So it's gonna be a little bit narrow piece, but the bed is gonna fill that entire back wall. There's, there's kind of what it's gonna look like. So I've got the hot glue gun going, crank that bad boy up, old trusty, and we're just gonna go to town, put this together. So put some glue, line up the corners. You might get a couple hot glue wispies. Don't worry, those just pull right off. They are annoying though. But yeah, just line it up straight, pull your wispies off. <laughs> this is looking nice. Yeah, look at that. That is cool. The graphics look great. I am uh, very happy and excited to see where this goes. All right, so I've got the lower base of the bed put in now. You can see uh, they're really starting to come together. There's the back wall. Yeah, this thing is popping now. So I've got the entire inside lined with graphics. And this is all it is. Easy construction. Cutting foam board, pasting, gluing. All right, so I'm working on Luke's bed. And what I'm gonna do is cut out a bunch of foam board strips and just line them up on the base of the bed. I uh, cut out some squares on the top of the roof to let some light shine through and make I think it gives it a really cool effect. This is the idea of what the bed's gonna look like. So I cut out a piece of paper, cut out strips of foam board, lined them up. While some of that stuff is drying, we're gonna work on this Luke. Now, this is a really cool effect that you can do with hair gel. Now you wanna make sure that it's alcohol free hair gel. Cause you don't want the alcohol to mess up your figure, but basically, we're gonna open up the back to tank and squirt this LA Looks hair gel into the back to tank. And what's cool is the hair gel has these natural air bubbles that look just like it did in the movie. So fill it all the way up and we're gonna just stick Luke right in there. And hopefully it gives us the very cool illusion of Luke getting some back to medical attention. Here's the idea of what it'll look like. Look how great those bubbles look surrounding him. He's got his air breather mask on. Um, what I've learned is I'm really gonna have to set up a lighting configuration on it. Now, I found this at Walmart for $3.99 or $2.99. And it's basically just, it, I got it in the Christmas section, but just a strand of LED lights. And I am uh, starting to glue them inside because I really got to highlight this thing. And with the Luke in the hair gel, I uh, definitely need some lights to really make that effect shine. So I'm just using my hot glue gun, going around all the corners, gluing them down. There's my mechanics basically just coming out in the backside of the, the play set. Guys, here is the finished product, Hoth Medical Center. It was such a fun, easy project to do. Basic craft skills that you do in elementary, cutting foam board, cutting paper, gluing it, gluing it with hot glue, and you get this incredible scene. Definitely need LED lights to highlight and, and shine your Luke Skywalker, because it can get kind of dark in some places but 
I think this simple, easy setup really makes your figure pop. And I'm really excited to get this on the Hawk display and remember this scene as close as it was to the film. If you want to make your own Echo Base Medical Center diorama, please go to DioramaWorkshop.com. I'll leave a link in the notes. It was a really easy build. You can do this. And what's incredible is he has a lot more downloads available from every movie almost. He's got great PDF downloads with decals you can print off make all kinds of cool stuff this is just the iceberg but i had a lot of fun building this sit back take a look at these awesome pics let me know what you think in the comments